Yo, what is poppin' y'all? Welcome to Kyle Larimer Music 2.0. This is my second music channel, and this is where I do and post lots of behind the scenes and tutorials on how I make my music. So if you guys are ever curious, well, there you go. I created a special channel for that specifically. So uh, today, I want to show you guys some of my favorite instruments I use on a day-to-day -day basis, specifically Aperillo by Sugar Bites, which is a 16FM cinematic synthesizer, and it has so many awesome synths in there. Like, I mean, you're t I'm talking, you name it, it's in there. It's like thousand plus. It's crazy. So buckle up and subscribe, turn on post notifications so you don't miss out on any of my future posts, and also, like this video if you want to see more like this on the channel. And uh, without further ado, cue the intro. So, to begin with, I want to welcome you guys to my computer. So, this is Reaper, and I use this every single day for recording my music. And this is my favorite DAW to use. It's super user friendly and it has just so much compatibility and you can plug in you can put in any plug in you want. So and it even does I'm sure a lot of different ones do this, but it can do video processing in this thing. It, this thing is so awesome. And especially if you're beginning to record music and you want to learn how to do stuff like this, then this is a highly recommended one. Um this is what got me started and it has been awesome ever since. So uh just kind of show you guys what I use to record in. Um, now, to jump over to Aperillo. This thing is a beast. So, check it out. This is this is so cool. Um, this is already the default sound, so take a listen to this. Now, if you think that's cool, I'm going to show you inside the engine on how this all is orchestrated. So I'm going to go over here, and this is where I can basically mess with anything, manipulate, adjust, basically create everything I want. So this is what, this is called the Orbiter. Um, and I, now, listen, I'm a musician. I'm pretty tech savvy, but <laughs> I'm not that tech savvy when it comes to this type of stuff. So uh, bear with me if I don't really know what to do. I'm like, wait a minute, how do you do that again? Because I'm not that tech savvy when it comes to this. But you know, I'm still learning. This is this is crazy. Um, so this is called the Orbiter. Um, I'm in record mode right now, I guess, and this is going to be showing me basically how it works. Let me just play it again so you can watch what happens. Yeah. So it's moving along. So as you can see, that is pre-recorded by engineers, and you could be the engineer too. So I'm going to show you how that's done. Let me turn that off, and I'm going to go into. I'm going to go over here. I'm going to record this, but I'm also going to play it at the same time, and basically make my own synth out of this. Now, mind you, this this is still the default sound of Aparillo. Recording Reaper there and now I could drag this around so now it'll show you a playback I turn on record mode, it'll show you a basically a playback of what I just did. Okay? So here, that's what I just did. Isn't that cool or what? <laughs> I'm a programmer. This is like, this is on another level. Just absolutely amazing. Okay, so let's, I'm going to show you guys what um, some of my favorite ones besides this are. So let's go ahead and delete that. And I'm going to show you guys some of the favorite ones I do, um, kind of on a day-to-day -day basis. And in fact, let me show you uh, this one here. I've 
used before. In fact, I'm using it in my newest song, which is coming out soon. So um, let's do this. This is kind of a guitar um, arpeggio rhythm. So this you can also mess with too. But let's just kind of go in here and show you what's going on. So I can take this little, like, what looks like a computer inside of this thing. I don't know what this is all doing. Like, again, I said I, I'm a musician. I'm not a technical engineer. So, <laughs> um, yeah, let's just, so this little plus does something. Let's, let's listen. Oh, I'm peeking. Oh, that's terrible. <laughs> so you could speed it up. Or you can make it really slow. All these knobs and sliders you can completely adjust as well. So uh, let's go to the second one. There's another one like that. It's a guitar. Um, this is guitar arpeggio two. Uh, let's listen to this. So let's let's try something. So I think why it's not doing that is because I don't have this on. Maybe. I don't know. I have no clue. So anyway, that's that. <laughs> um, there's also another one like that. Um, so pretty cool. Now, here's something I want to try. I'm going to go into here. I'm going to select the first one. Okay. Now, I'm going to go back into Reaper, and I'm going to select this. I'm going to copy this track. Okay. And I have two tracks. I'm going to just do upper low two. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to record this first one, and this is something, this is a technique I'm using in my song itself. Um, so I'm going to go and I'm going to use this, and put it like that. So that's the first one. And this one, I'm going to go to here, and I'm going to do the second one. Now listen, this is going to be pretty cool. So let's go back into Reaper, and I'm going to show you guys how this works. So I'm going to record this first track. So, that's our first track. Um, now what I want to do is I want to take our second one here and I'm going to turn that off, turn that one on, and we're going to do the same thing, but we're going to change this. Now, now let, this is, this is going to be genius. Take a listen to this. I've got to sync this up just right. is super cool. So that's kind of an idea on how I mix some tracks together um, with Aparillo. So let's delete this track though because we're not going to be using that one. And I'm going to delete these and uh, goodbye. Alright, so back to the engine here. Let's um... Let me think about some things I use as well. Oh yes, so here's one. I like this. Fat this one I also use in the first song of my DNA album. If you want to go check that out too, it's also on all this the stuff I'm demonstrating today. I've used in music before, so um, I'll leave a link below if you want to listen to that. So here is the first one I used. Oh, of course I got to turn that record arm to on. There we go. Actually, that's not that's not right. 
I can't remember. <laughs> I can't remember the key I used. That's it. That is just so. This is so cool. I love it. Um, it's kind of mesmerizing, to be honest with you. But anyway, this. I'm gonna try something. I'm gonna turn that off, and I'm gonna make my own. <laughs> I love it. I love it. Okay, so that's um, called Bass Tron. Um, that's that is so cool. Um, here's a couple other ones. Uh, stopping train. This is cool. This sounds just like a stopping train. This is so cool. Choo -choo. Yeah. Sounds just like a train. Okay, so let me show you guys some other ones besides all those. Um, and, and remind you this, I haven't even discovered half of this stuff. Um, like this ambience. Let's do this one. I've, okay, I've heard this one before. Okay, that's a bit annoying, but pretty cool as well. Um, like some of these are like, what would I use that for? You know, it's like, huh, but... Here we go. Here's the abstract. That's very relaxing. It's, like, it's a it's a perfect meditation like kind of sound, you know. Um, let's see. A couple other ones in here. What is beef sear? <laughs> Sounds like you're exploring a cave or you're kind of like underwater. Does it sound like a whale? That sounds just like a whale. Dude. That's crazy. Kind of spooky sounding too. Uh, bells. Let's see. Oh. Alright, let's go to some of these. I know you guys are probably eyeing the drums here, seeing what this is. Um, hmm. Basic drums. <laughs> but now these things are crazy. Like, this will get you in the feels, like, big time. Uh, picked glass. Oh, that's interesting. <laughs> um, like, again, I've never heard hard, hardly any of these. Um, so, it's kind of a first time experience for me as well, for you guys. Um, so, noise, snare. Huh, interesting. It's like a muted snare in a way. Um, forest. <laughs> Interesting effect. Doesn't sound like a forest to me. So let's check out some of the ones in this uh, Embrace Hollywood. Atmos. Batman. Let's see what this sounds like. Ooh, <laughs> that's cool. What's this one sound like? So there's so many in here, like, uh, it's, it's just unbelievable. Um, let's see the sequence. I I think the sequence ones are probably got to be some of my favorites. Like, this is this hold one key.
That's cool. I like that rhythm. That is a cool one. Um, in fact, I'm going to save that one because I like it so much. So, save. That way I know which ones are my favorites. <laughs> um, let's see. Who knows? I might pop up with one of my songs in the future and be like, Oh! I know exactly what that's from. Holly Arrival. Hmm. <laughs> Completely, I've got so many ideas right now. <laughs> i got so many cool ideas. Um, Japan. What does Japan sound like? Okay. Cool. Um, vocal. There's so many vocals, too. Which, uh, let's see. A bit of hum. What does a bit of hum sound like? Well, there you go. Oh, that's straight out of sci-fi. That is... Ooh. Oh! I got the chills. Okay, I got another song idea. Oh, that's cool. Like, I say so much in this one. This is, like, my personal favorite list. Um, Dulcimer. So this is actually, this, this next time I'm going to play is actually a theme for another song, but let's see what it sounds like. I mean, you know why it's doing that? Okay, I just realized you can only play one note at a time, just the way the setup. That's weird. Okay. So cool. I love it. Well, there's so much more I could show you, but you gotta experience it for yourself and you can this this thing is just awesome. So with that being said, thank you guys for tuning in to my second video on this channel and I'd love to do more like this. But um yeah, definitely super cool. Um there's just so much in here. Um, but anyway, that's gonna wrap it up for Aparillo, and I hope you guys enjoyed it, and, um, if you guys have any suggestions or you want to see me do something, just let me know in the comments and I'll do it. Well, that's gonna do it for me, guys. Thank you so much for watching my second video on this channel, and I'll be posting every Sunday, so be sure to stay tuned, subscribe, like this video, and turn on post notifications so you don't miss out on any of my future videos. So, with that being said, I'll leave you guys to that, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Thank you.